All right, so now we're gonna go over the oil drop experiment. And this experiment was conducted by Robert Millikan in the early 1900s, so about 100 years ago, which if you think about it, really isn't that long ago. And what this experiment determined was the charge of an electron, the charge of a single electron. So by this time, the existence of the electron was known, complements of J.J. Thompson's cathode ray tube experiment, but the charge of the electron had not been known yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk through the experiment and we're going to we're going to take a look at the apparatus that Robert Millikan used and some of the reasoning that he used to determine the charge of a single electron. So here we have a basic uh, diagram of the apparatus that Robert Millikan used. So we have an atomizer up here. This is the this is what we use to shoot out little droplets of oil into the apparatus. So this red thing right here is just a bulb that you kind of press down, that you squeeze in order to shoot these droplets out. It, it kind of resembles a, uh, you know, like those little uh, perfume bottles that some of those, you know, fancy old ritzy ladies seem to have, those, you know, old-timey perfume bottles. It's basically the same thing uh, going on here. So the atomizer shoots out these little droplets of oil, and there's a small hole here and that allows the droplets to fall down into the lower part of the apparatus. And the upper and lower parts of the apparatus are separated by um, positively and negatively charged plates. So up here is the positively charged plate, and down here is the negatively charged plate. And these two plates are uh, connected by a power source in which you can actually change the voltage of the power source. So we have positive plate, negative plate, and we have a power, a power source that has a voltage that we can apply across these plates. And with the help of a light source and a microscope, so imagine that this is a human eye right here looking into the microscope, we can actually see what's going on inside the apparatus. And this green arrow that I've drawn represents what we call ionizing radiation. And ionizing radiation is used to create the electrons that the droplets of oil collect. So when the air inside the apparatus is bombarded by this ionizing radiation, it produces electrons. And the oil droplets collect those electrons as they fall down into the lower part, into the uh, negatively charged plate. So... Ultimately, what happens is you have a free fall of these oil droplets. The oil droplets fall down, and once you turn on the power source that's connected to these positively and negatively charged plates, depending on the voltage that you use in the power source, you can actually stop the direction, you can stop the free fall of the oil droplets. So the oil droplets are falling against gravity, but up to a certain point, if you apply the right amount of voltage, you can stop it. And if you apply more voltage than that, then you can actually send them upward too, towards the positively charged plate. So that's a, a basic uh, outline of the, the process that Millikan used to conduct his experiment. And pretty much the rest of it is all based on calculations and reasoning. So what he measured was, he, he measured the voltage that was required to stop the free fall of the drops. Remember, you can just, if you apply a certain voltage, you can have just a drop sitting there suspended in the air. And he measured the voltage required to stop the free fall of the drops, and he also calculated a couple of things. First, he calculated the masses of the drops using their radii and their density of the oil. And then using these two things, both the voltage required to stop the free fall and the mass of each drop, he was able to calculate the charge of each drop in coulombs. So, imagine that 
you perform this experiment just like Millikan did, and you end up with, let's say you end up with three drops. So I have a, a little drop here, a big drop here, and then an even bigger drop here. So each one of these drops has its own mass. Right? Well, Robert Millikan, he reasoned that each one of these drops must contain a whole number of electrons. And since each drop contains a whole number of electrons, then that means that each one of these drops must have an integer multiple of some charge. So if I find the least common multiple of all of these charges, then I might be able to find the charge of a single electron. So least common multiple of the charges. And it turns out Robert Millikan was right. And the least common multiple of all the, the uh, charges of all the drops, I mean, he, he did this a bunch of times. He tried to get as, as many different sizes of drops as he could. And it turns out that the least common multiple of the charges was negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And that is the charge of a single electron. It is also called the elementary charge. So negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. So there you go, that's Millikan's oil drop experiment.